If I could change one person's life so that they don't feel the feelings that I have felt, then I have succeeded. Okay, I figured that I'm just gonna get ready, but holy cow. When you're struggling with anxiety, here's some, some tips. Prioritize self-care and make time to relax. Every day set five small and achieve achievable tasks to do. Have a few days off social media. Do a brain dump of everything that is on your mind and create a plan when you will get things done. Take it one day at a time and do activities that bring you joy. Be patient, trying to fight and deny this feeling is helpful to let yourself feel it. Tidy your space and organize. It can help less, uh, it can help us feel less overwhelmed. That's from the anxiety healer on Instagram. Dude, I can't even say, I, I just, I'm going to, I'm getting ready. And I was like, okay, I just want to spew out some feelings while I get ready. And so that's what I'm going to do. I'm so I'm Jocelyn McClellan and here in this space, I do talk about hair and beauty, but I talk about it with hair and beauty to hopefully help you learn to love yourself more and more and more every day. And I've talked about my anxieties and back when this page, when I didn't even know what I was going to do with YouTube, but I had recorded this video of just, I was getting ready in my bathroom, like prop my phone up and started talking and was talking about going to the doctor and what my anxiety was with that. Cause I mean, that's like heart palpitation for me. When I go to the gyno, that's like <laughs> heart palpitations is not good. And so, um, but Right now, during quarantine, during everything that has happened with um, what's going on with COVID and all that jazz, I wanted to do this YouTube video to kind of help you, hopefully help you. And if I can help one person not feel the feelings that I have felt, I'm winning. I'm, I've succeeded. And... That's all I can do. So I am, um, it's funny when this says right here to tidy up around you, cause I think that has been such a focus for me right now is to feel organized and feel something. And when we have anxiety, that organization level isn't there. Like you can be the most organized person, but when you have anxiety, that organization level is not there. And I really want this video to kind of be of ways that you can help prevent things. But before I start, I'm gonna tell you my little background. So, and you guys, this is gonna be embarrassing. I'm mind blown I'm putting this out there on YouTube because this is like, this is taking a lot, this is embarrassing. Like my anxiety is embarrassing. But I'm hoping with me putting myself out there and knowing that you might be watching this make fun of me or someone who just caught it for a glimpse might be, make fun of me, but I'm at the point where I just don't care. And what's funny though is when I'm in the moment of the anxiety, I do care. I care about the embarrassing part. For me to say it, I don't care. But for me to be in it, I do. So at 14 years old, I lived down the street. Sorry, I'm waiting for this to dry. 14 years old, I live down this lane where we have to ride the bus for about an hour. All is well, all is well. Wearing a white pair of pants. I go, I can't believe I'm saying this. I go walking down the lane and I'm like, I have to go to the bathroom. And I'm like, and now I can make it because my parents are strict. And if I did not get off the, on that bus, I was hosed. And um, so I'm waiting, sorry, I'm waiting for this to dry. Um, I, get, uh, I get walking down the lane and I'm like, okay, I got this. Wait, where's my brush? I'm like, okay, I can do this. I need to go to the bathroom, but I'm just gonna have to make it. And this is an hour long bus ride. Keep walking down the lane and it's like, Oh, maybe I can't do this. So I continue to go down it. And then I'm like, nope, it's time to turn back. I turn back and start walking home and you guys, heaven to Morgatroids, like I poop my pants. <laughs> I did, but little did I know that that was when a parasite had taken over me and I didn't know that. So my parents never got me help really. My mom was, was in the, like the naturopath world. We lived three hours away from a big city. It just wasn't like, there wasn't online stuff like there is today. And so <laughs> I pooped my pants and <laughs> I did not make it to the bus. But um, my anxiety has stemmed 
more and more and more for that. So take it into hair school. I'm working with clients and sick as can be. Take it into moving to Oregon and the freeways in Oregon where I lived, there's no, there's nowhere you can pull off. Um, we would go, I'd go and travel, drive around with my husband for his job, eat places, not realizing what would like, just not realizing what was going on. And then all of a sudden this happens and, um, or me getting worse instead of better and not knowing how to fix it. So I developed anxiety insanely strong. It got to the point where I wouldn't go, like well, my husband and I, I wouldn't go on double dates with people. If we did, we would drive our own vehicle. I just, my anxiety was through the roof. So as time's gone on, you, you kind of turn into a control freak and you turn into a pessimist because it, there's always gonna be, you always have to make a plan, right? or something's always gonna go wrong. When you have anxiety, you feel like something is always going to go wrong and it's hard to fight it. And if you feel these feelings, I'd love to hear about them because hopefully you can understand, <laughs> especially the fact that I just told you what happened. But um, everything grew and I would go to the doctor and get try and get help, get colonoscopies and stuff, and I would get nowhere. In fact, I have a very love-hate relationship now with doctors because I got nowhere. And I started kind of having to figure things out for my own. But if you are someone with, with that fear that I have, you fear going to the gynecologist, going to the doctor, anywhere that you cannot feel, that you feel trapped, that you can't go to the bathroom, you feel that anxiety. So even if your anxiety isn't pooping your pants, I can't say that without laughing, um, even if yours is not that, you know what it feels like to feel trapped, right? And your heart starts beating, you're sweating, your stomach is turning, you it's that fight or flight, and you're really trying to flight, but you can't, and kind of what do you do? And so, um, because I felt like I wasn't really getting any help and I, we were at a point, we, we didn't have money to go to a therapist. That wasn't, that wasn't an option. What is in my hair? That wasn't even an option whatsoever. And so it just progressed and got worse. But I tell you what, a few years ago, I decided that I was going to take over this. So I had that, like, I couldn't even get to the airport because you had to ride a shuttle over to the airport after you parked your car. I would make my husband drop me off at the airport and him have to go, like if he was gonna miss the plane, oh well. Because he needed to drop me off at that airport so I did not have to ride the shuttle to go over. Like my life was coming to an end. Um, I couldn't do things on my own. I felt like I had to have him with me all the time and it sucked. I then started telling myself, it was five years ago and there was this fitness camp that I really wanted to go to by, with a lady by the name of Jessie Hil Hilgenberg. And she was doing this fitness camp at bodybuilding.com. And if you're into fitness, you know that that's a big deal. Jessie was one of the winners of the, of the search for like bodybuilder type uh, spokesman type things. And she was doing this at bodybuilding.com and I wanted it so badly. So I decided I was gonna put my big girl pants on and I was gonna go to Boise, Idaho for the very first time that I had ever gone anywhere. And that was when I was like, it's time to live my life. So Brady didn't come with me. I went and I did it. But every year I have worked on getting better and better at better in something. And what hit it probably the hardest was when my husband said, why are you such a pessimist? Everything's always wrong. And that was the moment that I knew that I had to completely change my life because he was spot on right. Like everything seemed to always be wrong with me instead of seeing the good in things. I, I, I couldn't, it wasn't a possibility. And so I worked at changing my life and how I changed my life was when I waked up, when I woke up, when I waked up, what is up with my face? I have dry skin there. Ah, oh, here we go. When I woke up in the morning before getting out of bed, I would say three positive things to myself. And every now and then, my head starts to go back to not wanting to see the positive things. 
And so I have to like refocus on seeing the three positive, saying the three positive things before I get out of bed. And then what I also found myself doing was every time a negative thought came into my head, I had to follow it through with a but, or uh, well, at least this didn't happen, or at least this happened, and try and find a positive thing um, that could come out of it. Like, okay, maybe my, maybe I ran out of gas on the side of the road, but at least Brady, my husband, was able to come pick me up. So I had to follow it through with a positive. And that helped me a ton be able to kind of fight that. But right now with everything that's going on with quarantine and, and going on in the world and how hard everything feels, I'm finding myself in the biggest gut-wrenching trap right now. And it's like, how do you get out of it when you are supposed to stay at your house, when you're not supposed to see loved ones, when you're not supposed to do any of that? Like, how do you keep fighting through the positive? And so I wanted to kind of just, I, I guess maybe help somebody be able to see like that fighting through the positive. If you are looking at someone from the outside and you see them smiling, you think that they're not fighting something. So on the outside, we're putting up this front, but on the inside, we're crumbling. And right now it's at a place where everyone is like barking at each other and everyone is chewing each other out for how they're not feeling or what they're not doing instead of just trying to be sympathetic for what we don't know that they're doing or that's going on. And through all of this, I've, I'm learning, the more I want to retreat and step away from everyone because when contention arises, someone who has anxiety, their anxiety goes stronger and stronger. So for someone just staying at home that doesn't have anxiety, all they have to worry about is staying at home. But for someone who has anxiety, staying at home means so much more in different ways than if, if you don't have those feelings. And I can't speak for you. All I can do is speak for myself, but it means that more people are fighting right now. More people that you see online are fighting. So the stepping away from social media that she mentioned is like one of the hardest things, but is so easy, but that we, we find ourselves because we're at home. What else is there to do? Which there is a lot to do, but your head naturally goes to what you're used to, and that is getting online. And so you go and get online, and you see that tension even more, and then your stomach is turning and twirling, and you don't know what you're going to do or where to go from there. And so I, I just put this, I wanna put this out here with a couple things that I've done that's kind of powered me through it. So as someone who is online, someone who my business is online my business is social media how do i power through and i think one of the things that they said right here from this anxiety healer it says uh, th there's another one that i like pulled off of it and it says the things that are difficult for me when i'm anxious it says focus on work so i can pull myself away from what it is that is holding me back from the negative feelings that people are doing and all I can focus on is me at that time. So focusing on work is huge for me and getting in my groove is huge for me. Um, the other one is being positive. How the heck do you be positive when all this is going on? So I on purposely look for things that makes me happy. I on purposely look for things that helps me to um, fill my mental spirit. And that is playing games with my kids. That is going on a bike ride. That is doing things that separates me from the anxiety that I'm feeling because of what's going on in the world. Um, <clears throat> remembering something that's important. So going back through and looking at pictures, at, like right now is a time that you can't see loved ones possibly where you are, but reminiscing of how special they are to you and why you value them so much and the goals that you make with them it can be hard but it also can be helpful so if you're someone that that's actually going to make things worse then i wouldn't do that one 
but when we see the value behind other people, that's huge. Um, <clears throat> being able to go to sleep, just go to sleep. And sleeping is gonna be a hard one right now because of what's happening, but try to not be staying up late and actually getting the rest you need because the rest you need is huge. So when everything started with Corona, I stopped taking my vitamins. We had just moved into our house. I completely had stopped taking care of me and my hair started falling out. My anxiety was through the roof. Everything was happening and my I felt miserable. So find a way right now to take care of you. And then my final one that I did um, that kind of halted everything was with my anxiety. I said this to myself. So take the feeling that you're feeling and then say, does it really matter? So say I'm worried to go to the store because I'm worried I am going to poop my pants. <laughs> does it really matter that you, like if you did poop your pants, <laughs> does it really matter? Because you can just go on home. What's the worst that's going to happen? You're gonna go home before you get there. It doesn't really matter. Okay, so whatever your ang anxious is holding back, let's say travel holds you back. Why is traveling hold you back? Is what you're worried about really going to happen? Does it really matter? Is it really going to happen? Chances are a very, very high chance it's not going to happen and you have to tell yourself that. Once I started getting in my head and I was able to tell myself like, girlfriend, you're out of line. Girlfriend, take a chill pill. That's when I started doing better and I was able to beat the feelings at the moment. I have gotten so much better at being able to just separate myself from the anxieties that I was feeling. So some days I just want to kind of tell you, and again, I know this is a different video than what I've ever really truly filmed before, but I, if you want more of these kind of videos, just or tutorials or this isn't a tutorial this is talking if you want more of this just let me know and comment below but um i will say that with having the stress and having the anxiety having depression not knowing who to turn to where to care, care where to go who's gonna care how are you gonna be taken care of it really comes down to that there are a lot of people that want to help you and so reach out and ask for help right now I know things might be hard for you, but I encourage you to reach out and ask for help. And don't feel like you have to go through that anxiety alone. Don't feel that that depression is weighing you down so much that you can't breathe. You need to reach out for and ask for help because there is someone that 100% without a doubt wants to help you. I know they do, including myself. But ask for help. Get medical help if you need it. It is there and it is waiting for you. I hope that you have an amazing day. I hope that you learn to take your anxieties and be able to bury them deep, not inside of you, but somewhere else, because you are able to start living your life to your full potential, because I promise you, it's waiting for you. And from someone that has experience, it is the best feeling ever to slowly allow yourself to push that away every, every more, any, every, even more, even more. All right, I'm gonna let you go. I'm gonna go curl my hair and finish getting ready because I got ready faster than I could talk. But have a great day. I'm Jocelyn McClellan. If you wanna find me on Instagram, I'm jocelyn.mcclellan there. If you wanna find me on Facebook, it's Fit Mission Makeup with Jocelyn McClellan, where I do hair and makeup tutorials every Tuesday and Thursday. And Pinterest is a fun one that I have too. And of course, here. Take care, have an amazing day. You are loved. We'll see you later.